Be sure and check out my new website, gypsydigs.com. Be sure and check out my friend Terry Carter's YouTube channel, Terry Carter. Heading up to the swimming area on the river. Look at this view. Is this not beautiful? Going down an old train track. What a view. Awesome. All right, I'm here with Terry Carter and my brand new friend, John. And he's brought his underwater drone and we're gonna be checking out this old swim spot. You can see it's very rapid there. But he's gonna send his drone out there to a deeper spot and see if there's any things that have been lost and collected in there. We're also gonna be metal detecting uh, in the shallow areas here and see if we can find anything. There are tubers that tube this all the time, lose all kinds of things. So I'm in Utah right now, and this is where they live. So uh, Terry found out about this old swimming hole a uh, long time ago. Tell us about that, Terry. A long, long time ago, clear from the, from the 1920s all up into the 1970s, uh, the old they, they would come up here and enjoy picnics in the canyon and then they would dive off this rock because there's a deep hole there and they even had a diving board on at one time you know so back in the olden days before video games before all that stuff you know people played outdoors and and right? this is a beautiful setting to play and this is where they is, came to, to it play it is beautiful so maybe we'll get some luck today now today i think i'm gonna let terry try to test out this uh brand new garrett Goldmaster 24K. I have not tested it out yet. I just got it. it. It hasn't hit the market yet. Garrett is now owners of um, Whites. And um, so they put the two great companies together and making one great machine. So I'm anxious to try this out. And then I'll be also using my Garrett Ace Apex and see if we can find some gold rings maybe who knows what we might find you teach just me never how know. To, teach me how to hunt these rivers gypsy let's find <laughs> some right. gold rings uh so i hear this is snow capped melted this uh, is straight off the melted snow this is a cold river uh, so <laughs> i don't have a wetsuit with me but uh we're gonna just get in the shallow area here and see what we can find all right you ready to treasure hunt let's find some rings okay before we do that i think we are gonna when John gets set up, we're going to take a look at what's down there with his underwater drone. Check it out. All right. We'll keep you posted. All right. I'm getting, dipping my feet in this cold water. I'm going to test out the machine here in Utah and see if we can find anything. All right. I've got a signal here. It's hitting about a 58, 59, 60. Let's take a look. Oh, I see something. Yeah. All right. First find of the day. Looks like some old sunglasses or glasses. We're off to a start. We know there's stuff here. Let's see what else we can find. I'm not going to have it float this time, but you can have this so it floats in the water and you can take this anywhere you want. It's connected right now to this 50 foot uh, tether so that if we ever need to pull it in for whatever reason, we can. And this also gives me communication. What it does is this connects to this, which is always on the surface, then that connects to either my iPad or my phone. 
and I can control everything from that and record everything that's under the water. So what we're doing here is we got this old swimming hole that we're going to check and to see if we see anything down there. That way I get, that way I know if I'm just going to take Chip, Gypsy and chuck her in there to go get it or not. So <laughs> that's right. if you find something, you might get thrown in. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. I may have to get some dry suit on before I go in <laughs> that water. This is a cold river. Uh, this is a cold river. Where? And I'm used to the Guadalupe at home, and that's a cold river, but is I it? think this river's probably got to be. This comes straight off the snow melt in the high Uintas up there, so. Woo! I don't know. All right, we're going to see this in action real soon. So he's got it pretty much all connected, I think. And how many feet did you say you have? About 50, 50 feet? feet? Yeah, 50 feet. All right. Sometimes you need to calibrate it. We'll find out as soon as I turn it on. All right. If I need to calibrate it or not. Sometimes, depending on how high of elevations and stuff, you need to calibrate it. Okay. Now, John hooked it up. He's a tech guy. Unlike me, I'm not savvy on all that, but he's going to have it hooked up here so we can actually see. You able to record that too, John? Yep. Okay. So he'll be able to record it and we'll be able to see firsthand on his screen uh, exactly what is down there. So super excited about this. Water there. Check it out. This is just video from it just floating in the water. That is too cool. So I'm going to set up the controls here so that you're aware. So I have it on low right now, so you can do low or high speed. And then here you can tilt it down or uh -huh. up. So when you're in the water, you can tilt it up or down with the camera. And then you can go up and down this way. You can go down this way, go up this way, and sideways and sideways. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So you have so you got control. full motion, yeah. Right. And there. what you do is you control it with these. So when, when it starts running, I'll control it with both con oh, both fingers okay. on the uh, actual iPad itself. I'm going to get up there real quick. There's a little bit of a reflection so they can see that control. But can you press on that screen again? Oh, wow. It's already shooting water there. Yep. Here we go. And here we go. So, that, so the hole, John, is just right in front of this big boulder here. Okay. Look at that. Look what we got on the screen already. So. So the hole is in front where the rapids are. I don't know if that'll control, huh? There we go. Let's see what we got wow. here. Wow. Already seeing stuff. Are you? Yeah. See some rocks? Yeah. Okay. Got some rocks there. Okay. Let me get from the other side of it. Is your cord tangled, John? Is your cord okay? Uh, it might be tangled a little bit. Let me, uh, let me untangle it. Hold on. That is amazing, John. You can see exactly what's under there. See that fast current there yeah. on the there screen. Okay, yeah, I don't see, know see how what? well y'all will be able to see this, but because of the glare, but he's going to send me some of this. Oh, there's all oh, what's there's that? a tennis what is shoe. That? Is That's that a, a tennis, tennis shoe? shoe. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to jump in the cold, cold water. 
Oh. <laughs> so right here, we just got in the water. There's a little shallow area here. And you see it gets real swift over here, so it probably pushes stuff this way. And I see something shiny down there. I'm not sure what it is, but I may not even need my pin corner. <laughs> probably some fisherman's little needle. Oh, it is. Tires. Yep. Man, you just, we, you just barely walked into the water here. <laughs> you know, I think they're still usable. They're a little rusty. I could soak it in a little CLR and get that rust off there and maybe use them. All right. Second find of the day. Let's see what else we can find. Go. Terry, I'm out here. We just got, got in here. I got a pull tab and I got this hit. I pulled it up. And it's a bag, a plastic bag. But if you look at it, it's got leeches all over it. Oh, man. But you know what? I see something shiny and metal in oh, there. Oh, look at that. I see that. It looks like a, a watch. So let's open it up and see what is in there. Got to watch out for those gross-looking leeches. Uh, let me get my other glove. That's really grossing me out with those leeches. What'd you get? Rings. No way! There's two rings in there. And watch. <laughs> <laughs> you told me, man, that we was gonna find some rings, and you did. Where's the leeches go? Look at those leeches go. I don't know if there's anything else in here. There are two wedding rings. Probably a man's and a woman's wedding ring. Oh! Nice! Ruby. And I don't know, that could be they garnet. Look, Maybe they look garnet. like they've been in there for a while. Yeah, this one looks silver to me. It's it's tarnished. But this one, I, I don't know. I'll have to clean it up and see, though. Two rings and a watch. Nice find, Gypsy. Oh, look at that. It's cracked, destroyed. Yeah, the is broke. Well, that bad. You know, they put it in there obviously to be right. watertight, but uh, yep. Yeah. There's the lens right there. But that bag I mean, was the... was had a hole in it, so. But nice. Sweet. Let's see. Skagging something. Nice. Nice find, man. Sweet. That's the kind of stuff I like to find. Except I don't like the leeches. <laughs> I'm going to run my metal detector or pinpointer over this and make sure there's nothing else in there. But awesome find. We're off to an awesome start, aren't we? <laughs> nice job. Awesome. We'll see you all on the next. Need a metal detector or metal detecting supplies? Visit the Digger's Den website listed below. Enter code GYPSY, all caps when ordering online. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>